Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we dive into the essential of steel beam design and show you how to check for beam depression to ensure safety and serviceability and code compliance. So the following key areas will be covered. How to determine the maximum moment of the beam due to the given loads. The design of steel beam for both LRFD and ESD method based on the maximum moment on the beam as per the EIEC 360 guidelines. And the third one is how to use the EIC, EIEC table 3-2 for beam selection. And the fourth one is to check the beam depression for the final size to ensure it does not exceed the allowable limit. So let's dive into the problem. Select a beam section using both the LRFD and ESD method for the span and loading shown in the figure below. Assuming full lateral support is provided for the compression plans by the floor slab above. So here LB is equal to uh, zero, which is the unsupported uh, length of beam. And the used uh, strength of steel is 50 KSI using the elastic module, uh, modulus of elasticity, elasticity which is 29,000 KSI. Check the beams, uh, de beams deflection for the selected size to ensure that it does not, it does not exceed the allowable limit of L over 240. So here we have the beam, simply supported beam, loaded with uniformly loaded with 1 point kips per foot which is dead load and a live load, a concentrated uh, live load of 30 kips. We have the uh, 30 uh, feet span of beam. So let's get started with the solution. We have the LRFD method. Determine maximum factored moment of the beam. So the width here is not excluded, included. So it's equal 1.2 times 1.5 Kips per foot is equal to 1.8 uh, kips per foot. That is the factored uniform load. So the uh, concentrated load be multiplied by 1.6 and that is equal to 48 kips. So the maximum factored uh, moment, the design moment is omega L squared over 8 plus PL over 4 due to the uh, concentrated load of 30 kips. So the moment is equal to 1.8 kips per foot times 30 feet squared over 8 plus 48 kips times 30 feet over 4 and that is equal to 562.5 kips foot. So that is our design factored uh, moment of the beam. So from the EIEC table 3-2 and the LRFD moment column, which is uh, this one here. So we have to find, and this is the table 3 2 uh, from the EIEC manual. So we have to find the, the nearest uh, design uh, capacity for 562.5 uh, kips feet. So here in the LRFD columns, uh, we have 668, uh, we have 600, uh, 600, okay, 574, the nearest one, a little bit higher uh, from 562.5. So this 574, that would, uh, that would be W24 by 62. So W2462 is uh, required for this uh, with a capacity of 574 kips foot. So now we have to uh, include the self width of the beam which is 62 pounds per foot to the design moment. So one W, uh, w is equal to 1.2 times 1.5 plus 0 0.062 and that is equal to 1.874 kips per foot. So that is the uh, uniformly load uh, with the self-width of beam included. 
So the moment uh, is equal to 1.874 kips per foot times uh, 30 uh, feet squared over 8 plus 48 times 30 feet over 4. And that is equal to 570.8 kips per a uh, kips foot. So from the AIAC manual, uh, using 24 by 62 is okay because that is uh, uh, greater than by 570.8. The design moment, the capacity is greater than the design moment. So that is okay. So the next one is to determine using the ESD uh, method. Determine the maximum moment of the beam. Uh, so we have uh, using the service load is equal to 1.5 kips per foot. And we have the concentrated load of kips, uh, 30 kips. So the service moment, the service design moment is WL squared over 8 plus uh, PL over 4. And that is equal to 1.5 times 30 feet squared over 8 plus 30 times 30 feet over 4 is equal to 393.8 kips foot. So from the AIEC table 3-2, uh, that is uh, A is the uh, moment column MPX over omega B, which is this one here. So we have to find the nearest uh, moment capacity of 393.8 which is this one uh, three we have a uh, 393 uh, profile of one w21 by 21 by 68 so that is the uh, moment capacity that match with our design moment so w21 by uh, by 68 is required for that design moment that would be uh, 399 kips foot. So the self width is 68 pounds per uh, foot shall be uh, included in the uh, moment calculation. That is 1.5 plus 0 0.068 is equal to 1.568 kips per foot. So the, the moment uh, that is equal to 1.68 uh, 1.568 times 30 uh, feet squared over 8 plus 30 times 30 feet over 4 is equal to 401.4 kips foot. So if you notice there here guys that uh, uh, we have a little bit higher from the previous one which is which was 399. So we need to to choose uh, a higher uh, steel profile. So from the AIEC table again, we have to find the nearest four zero one point four steel sections. So that is uh, here. The only nearest is four hundred forty two, and that is W. 24 by 68 so 400 uh, w 24 by 68 that is 442 uh, 24 by 68 so that is 442 kips foot so greater than 401.4 so we will adapt this section here So the next one is to check the beam deflection. So for the deflection due to the uh, uniform load, we have y is equal to 5 uh, wl to the port over 384 ei. For simply supported beam with concentrated load is y is equal to pl cube over 48 ei. So we consider the uh, beam from the ESD uh, method with the uh, properties of moment of inertia 18, 1830 uh, inches to the port modulus of elasticity 29,000 ksi 
uniform uh, uh, dead load which is 0.125 kips per inch and the span is equal to 360 inches so if, if we plug plug in all this uh, parameter here which is equal y is equal to 5 times 0.125 kips per inch times 300 uh, 60 to the fourth over 384 times 29,000 KSI times the moment of inertia which is 18 1830 inches to the port is equal to 0.515 inches that is that is the deflection due to the uniform load so for the deflection due to the concentrated load that is equal to 30 times 380 360 inches cube over 48 uh, 29,000 KSI that is a value times the moment of inertia which is 1830 inches to the port is equal to 0.55 inches so the total deflection of the beam is that the addition of this one here 0.515 plus 0.55 inches is equal to 1.07 inches which is equal to L over 240 equal to 360 over 240 that is equal to 1.5 inches so the actual deflection of the beam is within the allowable limit of L over 240 which is okay uh, this provision actually is structured from IBC table 1604.3 which is dead load plus live load so that's all guys for uh, today's video and please don't forget to like and thank you for watching see you next time and god bless bye bye